Hey, good morning. It's Diana here with Top Teal Greenway. And I'm just gonna wait just a moment to um, see if we get some other viewers on before we start making our bird feeders. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna make bird feeders. And we're making not just any bird feeders, we're gonna make ice cream cone bird feeders. And we're gonna start with the ice cream cone, plain ice cream cone, and we're going to make this. So we'll make it with the regular cones and with the um, sugar cones. So, so why are we making bird feeders? Um, well, winter is coming, is approaching, and um, with things getting colder and freezing, um, leaves have fallen off the trees, maybe the berries are gone. Um, it just, it makes it a little more difficult for the birds to find some more food. And so by doing bird, um, the bird feeders, um, it just helps to uh, feed the birds and um, it invites the birds to your house, to your backyard or front yard, and um, it makes it enjoyable for yourself as well. So you can watch the birds at your, at your feeders. Um, so we're gonna start with the regular cone, and on the bottom, I'm just gonna use a, a pencil tip, so I can get the lighting right here, and I'm just gonna poke right in the center. Just poke a little hole. And when you're starting out, actually, you want to have, um, put down some newspaper just to help protect your, uh, your tabletop. And also what else we're using as well is I'm using a sunflower butter. Let's see if I can get the, the lights kind of making it look kind of funny colored. Um, I'm using sun butter. Um, you can use peanut butter. Um, if you've got allergies, of course, don't use that. Um, sun, this is sunflower seed butter. So this is a really um, good allergy friendly alternative to peanut butter. And then I've got my bowl of bird seed that we're gonna dip the cones in. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna poke a hole in the bottom. And I'm gonna poke down a little bit because remember in these cones, they have this little crisscross in the bottom and I wanna make sure I get through that so that it's completely open because we're going to use pipe cleaners. I've got several here. You can use colored ones or plain white ones, it's up to you. So I'm going to um, make a knot. This is a rather big hole, so I'm going to wrap the, um, the cleaner around two fingers a couple of times, and then I'm gonna go in the middle, kind of squeeze it together and wrap it around a couple times so I have uh, almost <laughs> sort of a figure eight just to make it wider so that it will fit across that hole and it won't come up. And then I'm gonna feed this through and then pull it up so that it'll hang on there. Okay, before we do that one, I'm gonna do the sugar cone. Now on the sugar cone, um, this end is really pointed. I'm going to carefully, just with my fingers, break off the end of it. Do it kind of careful. These are a little bit fragile and they could completely break. So until I have a nice little opening. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the feeder, uh, the, uh, sorry, the cleaners. Um, except I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller a couple of times to make the little knot that's gonna be on the inside. So I've got that tied together. And then I'm gonna feed that through. And then make sure it's staying in there. So now we're gonna add the seed butter and I have my butter knife. And so I'm gonna hold the cone with a couple of fingers inside. You can hold it on the end as well. Um, might get a little more messy. It's up to you which way you wanna do it. And 
So I'm just going to start spreading the seed butter all around. Doesn't have to be super pretty, but try to get it somewhat even and to cover all parts of the cone on the bottom. I would leave the little tip right here for your fingers so that it's easier to dip it in the seeds and as soon as we're done with this part. Okay, so I think I'm all covered pretty well. So now I'm gonna take this over to the seeds and I'm just gonna press it into the seed mix Go all around. So my seed mix has um, sunflower seeds, millet, and cracked corn. And there, I think that's pretty good. Looks like it's pretty covered. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the regular cone, except I'm just going to keep it kind of on the bottom part. So I'm going to spread the seed butter around the base, well, kind of the top of the cone, but since we're inverting, it's going to be the base now. And I'm going to go up just a little bit up the cone. So the seed butter is actually really good for the birds. Um, they like they like nuts and seeds, obviously, and it, it just helps to give them the extra calories that they need during the winter months. Okay, so I've got that covered. And again, I'm just gonna roll it around in the seed mix. Dip it through there. I might need to use the knife to get a couple of those spots on there. Lift that in there. There, it looks like he's pretty full. And there, now we have a couple of cones. And so what I'm going to do with those, I'm going to put those in the refrigerator for um, about 20 minutes, just so the, the seed butter firms up more um, before I put them out. And when you put yours outside, uh, make sure that it's going to be a really cold day because if it's going to be um, a suddenly warm day then um, that seed butter will get really soft and might start to run off of there. So just make it make sure it's really cold. Like today it was great. It started off with 30 degrees so it's probably a very good day to put those out. And um, so yeah, then the birds will really enjoy that. So um, do this with your family. You have the holiday weekend coming up, even if you're not getting together physically with your family, um, you can make bird seed, bird, bird seed feeders over um, virtual chat, just like we're kind of doing right here. And um, it's good for all ages. So get the kids to make some, um, invite your grandparents to make some and put them in their yard or out on a patio or balcony. and everyone can enjoy watching the birds all winter long. So, okay, with that, and I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys next time. So have a great, um, great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.